The Matrix VCF is a 14 HP Eurorack filter and is available in a black or an aluminium front panel. It's an authentic reimagining of the filters from the Oberheim Matrix 12 and Expander synthesizers. These extremely powerful instruments have been very highly regarded by artists within pop music and movie score production ever since their introduction in the mid 1980s, many of which are still in use today. And they featured a filter that had 15 different filter modes. The complex internal control of the synthesizer was handled digitally, allowing sounds to be saved as presets, including the selected mode of the filter. All of these 15 filter modes are present in the AJH synth module, with the addition of a four pole all pass phaser mode, bringing the total filter types up to 16. The module is completely analog, and the filter type can be selected manually using the pot on the front panel or by an external control voltage. 16 LEDs also display the currently selected filter type, providing visual feedback. And to add a darker flip side to the module, we've also included a unique Polyvox inspired resonance distortion and overdrive circuit that changes the character completely and can force all of the filter modes into self-oscillation and creating a much more interesting Jekyll and Hyde module. As well as featuring the standard 1 volt peroxide and frequency CV inputs, it also features the 1 third and 2 third inputs as on the transistor ladder filter and the CV inputs control the level of resonance. Lastly, the module also features a VCA with a level control and a CV input. This negates the necessity to have an external VCA, meaning the module can also be used as a final stage in the audio path and save invaluable rack space. Firstly, there's an input and output level. The output is actually a VCA, so it can be controlled by CV. The input level is intended more as an attenuator, just to adjust incoming signal levels. Because of the different filter modes, the way in which resonance affects the volume of the filter and the optional polyvox distortion circuit, the signal levels can vary wildly. And this is why there's a need for both input and output level in order to achieve a good usable signal level. So in the Ring SM, I've got a mix of different audio sources. I've got a square wave from one oscillator, a sawtooth from another oscillator going into the wave swarm, and that's set at a different pitch interval from the first oscillator. And I've also got some white noise, and that's all being mixed together in the Ring SM with some minus one sub bass. And first of all, if I raise the input level to about half, and start adding the output level. I'm on one pole high pass at the moment. So you see I can open that all the way up. But if I add a little bit of resonance, you see this LED start to flash. And that's basically just to tell you that your level is peaking. So if I back off the output level, that'll stop it flashing. But the more you add resonance, the more you need to back out on the level. And this will vary significantly between the different filter types and also with the polybox mode on. Input level is just intended to attenuate the incoming signal. Depending on what filter mode you're on, it won't necessarily stop all of the signal going through the filter. That's what the output control will be used for. The mode pot will change the filter mode, and you will sometimes notice a little bit of a click between different filter modes because the different filter modes will be filtering out different parts of the incoming signal at different times. Those two filtered versions of the incoming signal will sometimes be out of phase of each other, hence the clicking.
filter mode can also be controlled by CV and it will respond to a signal range of 0 volts to 5 volts positive. I've got the range of this sequencer set to 5 volts at the moment so it will produce either 0 all the way up to 5 volts depending on where I've got the pops for each of the, the stages. So if I connect the output of this to the mode that resets the filter to the bandpass 4 mode right down the bottom of the list. That's because currently this pot is in its zero position, so it's sending at zero volts. So I can use a sequencer to choose which filter mode I want. This is very musically useful because then I can cherry pick a particular filter type for each of the stages on this sequencer. First of all, I'm going to use this envelope generator to affect the frequency of the filter. And I'm also going to use the second envelope in this module to affect the VCA. And output level will become an attenuator. When the CV is present at the mode input, the mode pop will serve as an attenuator. I've already chosen four filter modes on these first four stages, so if I let this sequence run. The top row of the sequencer is also in random mode, so each of the four filter types will just occur randomly across the, the different notes in the sequence. And I'll run the, run the melody from the sequencer too. And you see the signal level is peaking, so if I bring that down, because I'm using the output of the Ring SM mixer, the output level that I'm sending into the filter is significantly lower than it would be if I took the output directly from an oscillator. I'm using a keyboard controller to control a synth now and it's triggering this envelope generator. I'm going to use one envelope for filter frequency control. use the other envelope generator on the VCA and like the frequency CV pot which is an attenuator for the amount of CV coming in to control filter frequency the VCA is also an attenuator so turned all the way down there'll be no action from the keyboard or the sequencer so I turn it up to get the level of So the frequency CV input is variable using this attenuator. Then there's a one third and two third octave input. And of course, the one volt proctive input. The one volt input can also be used to control the filter melodically when the filter is self oscillating. So I'm taking the output from the precision voltages. So currently it's mirroring the pitch coming from the keyboard. Thank you. 
And lastly, resonance can also be controlled by CB. I've got the tap tempo voltage controlled LFO clocked to the arpeggiator on the controller. And it's in random voltage mode at the moment. So if I use the unipolar output and then connect that to the resonance, but resonance then becomes an attenuator for the amount of CV coming in. So if I set this to self oscillation, all the way up, then that's just allowing the full range of, of CV coming from the, the LFO. Thank you. 